4, given that sine x is equal to 4 over 5, where x is an acute angle, so we know that when we have quadrant here, acute angle must be in the first quadrant. So we, here, we have x here, so we know that sine, so the formula of so cha toa, so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So this one is x, so opposite is here, opposite is 4, hypotenuse is 5. So we know that this other side is 3, right? 5 square minus 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. This one is Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Done. So sine y where y is an obtuse angle. So obtuse angle second quadrant. And we know that for this quadrant, this one is STC. So we just write it STC which means at the second quadrant only sine is positive. And we can see that it is obtuse angle but this one is positive because this one lies at the second quadrant. So this one is y. So we know sine is equal to here the formula opposite divide. Oh, this one also sine. Opposite divide by hypotenuse. So opposite of y is here, where this one is five. So hypotenuse is here. So the other side here, you see here, thirteen. So the other side here, thirteen square minus five square. So you get twelve square, right? So this one is twelve. So you get all the sides. So we can directly use three go after this. Alright. So A cosecant to X. So double angle formula don't consist of cosecant, but we know that cosecant is equal to one over sine two X. Which is sine two X is equal to two sine X cos X. Which is equal to one over two sin x so we see here where is our x this is our x and this is our y sin is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite is 4 over 5 it's actually given right 4 over 5 this one doesn't matter because at the first quadrant everything is positive so here cos x so cos x also positive because at the first quadrant cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so adjacent is just the side of angle which is 3 divided by hypotenuse 3 over 5 which is equal to 1 over 2 times 4 8 times 3 is 24 over 25 right which is equal to so divided by fraction is actually time 25 over 24 which is 25 over 24 So B secant to Y secant is equal to 1 over cos, right? Cos to Y. So the formula, so there is 3. So we see here cos 2A is equal to cos square A minus sin square A, which is equal to 2 cos square A minus 1, which is also equal to 1 minus 2 sin square A. You can use either of this because we can find cos A and sin A. So you can use either of this to your convenience. So here I want to use 2 cos square A minus 1. So here over 2 cos square A is actually cos A square minus 1. So this one A is Y. Okay, A is Y. You see this one is Y cos Y. So which is equal to 1 over this one is 2 cos y square so cos y you see this one is our y right cos is equal to adjacent the adjacent divided by hypotenuse this is y adjacent is just the side of the angle which is 12 hypotenuse is 13 so this one is at the second angle second quadrant which is negative square minus 1 this is 1 over 2 this one is 144 4 over 169 minus Minus 1. So here we are going to get. So here 1 divided by 119 divided by 169 which is equal to 169 over 119. So C. 
sin x over 2 so this one is half of this one so you can use double angle but which one to be used so we see if you use sin 2a you see if you use sin 2a then you will have sin x over 2 and cos x over 2 so we don't have cos x over 2 right and even x over 2 but then if you use cos then if you use this one so this one because we have sine right then we can find what is our sine x over 2 so cos 2a so if our a is x over 2 so here cos x is equal to so you see here this one is 1 minus 2 this one is sine square a is x over 2 right so we see here if you bring at one side so 2 if we bring at one side so this one is 2 sine square this one is actually sine x over 2 square is equal to 1 minus cos x right so this one is sine x over 2 square is equal to 1 minus cos x over 2 so here we get sine x over 2 is equal to third because we have square here third 1 minus cos x over 2 which is equal to 1 minus cos x is equal to this one is our x right so cos x is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse so our adjacent is 3 hypotenuse is 5 divided by this one is 2 so here 1 minus 3 over 5 is 2 over 5 divided by 2 so, so 2 over 5 divided by 2 we are going to get 2 over 10 so 2 over 10 so we see here this one you can just leave it as 2 over 10 but if you see from your textbook it is equal to 1 over set 5 right so how this happen you see here this one is set 2 so we know that set 10 is equal to set 5 times set 2 so you can cancel out so that's why you ended up with this one but this one is also acceptable so for C we can also use half angle formula so we know that sine A over 2 is equal to plus minus third 1 minus cos a over 2 right so we know that sine x over 2 is equal to plus minus third 1 minus cos a so cos a is cos x over 2 which is equal to plus minus third 1 minus this one is connected so cos x this one is x so cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse which is 3 over 5 over 2 so here we get so you see here this one is for x right so this one is positive so this one is positive which is 1 minus 3 over 2 so here we get 2 over 5 over 2 so here we get so 2 over 10 which is equal with previous one so if you want to make it as the answer scheme this one is accepted but this one is also set 2 divided by set 5 times set 2 which is equal to 1 over set 5 so which so tangent y over 2 so for tangent half there's two formula so here tangent a over 2 is equal to plus minus so root we have sine a divided by 1 plus cos a sorry also without considering the this one it is another formula tangent a over 2 is equal to sine a 1 plus cos a and also it can be 1 minus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a you can use either three to get the answer but this one without considering this one this one and this one is easier right so this one if i'm using sine a so we see here we have tangent y so this one is sine y divided by 1 plus cos y right so sine y is equal to so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite so opposite is 5 over so sine y so here y so second quadrant sine is positive so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse so opposite is 5 over 13 divided by 1 plus cos y 
So we see here cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So adjacent divided by hypotenuse is 12 over 13, right? But then we are talking about cos y. So we see here at the second quadrant, cos is negative because only sign is positive. So we have negative here. Okay. So here, so do we have any space? So 5 over 13. So here we have 1, right? To combine, this one is 13 over 13. Now, 13 minus 12, we get 1 over 13. So 13, 13. So here we get 5 over 1 or 5. So this one is... So I know when we do this, we won't get the same answer. But usually when tangent, uh, when we have half angle formula for tangent, we are going using this one and this one. Even though they said that it's basically the same one, but use this one instead to get the answer.